just looking forward then to the weekend. I mean, um, changing tack slightly. First of all, Arno Jum is he going to be back? He's yes. obviously he's obviously yes. just uh, he's going to be the... back. He's going to be happy. Um, he's going to have a gold medal coming through customs, which is great news. So we are we are delighted for him. Delighted for him. It's been excellent. When do you expect him back for training? He'll be with us this week. He'll be with us this week. Uh, so towards the end of the week, we'll be uh, yeah we'll be fully back in and. I look forward to seeing his smile. Would you be prepared to throw him into a derby off the, off the back of his trip to um, the African Cup? Ar- Arno will, will arrive, he will have time with us, he'll, he'll be training as normal uh, and he'll be an option for the team. The, um, the squad you've got, the last week has been a terrific week for you. Um, is it all fit and well as it stands? Um, I know there's still a few days to go at the game. Is, is everyone kind of, are you pretty much at full strength apart from the obvious injuries? Uh, we've got some 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 minor things that we're we're still dealing with, um, but yeah, no, generally generally nothing nothing has changed drastically. We have to to manage some things. We, we've came through quite a, a hectic period, you know. I think we've played five games in thirteen days, and you know, nobody nobody goes through periods like that and feels a hundred percent all the time. So there there's always some things that we need to try and manage. And we'll do that. We have a we have a clean week, which was something we were looking to have in a clean week to to recover fully, to to prepare properly, to and to do some work which you know can serve us into the the weeks coming as well. When we interviewed you on January the thirty first, um, that was off the back of the Celtic defeat and just prior to the Rangers game, and there were some pretty hard questions put to you. How would you describe the week since? Another week. Another week, things you know on the insides of things and and, and the inside of my mind, things don't change too much. Hmm. Um, I know I'll maybe keep repeating myself along this, and maybe eventually people believe it. But uh, there's no there's no massive depression. There's no major elation. We just focus on on what we're doing. I'm very very clear on where we're going and what we want to achieve in the longer term, and we will be fighting every single day to be making steps towards that. Some days things go well, look pretty, and the story is one thing. Sometimes it doesn't go as well, and it doesn't look as nice, and the story is another thing. But um, you know, on the inside of that, you know, my responsibility is to lead where we are going, irrespective of where the stories go on either side. And uh, I'll just be walking down a straight line. Do you sense though that the players have gained confidence <coughs> with the last two results? I think what they've had is they've had. You know the rewards that they deserve for for a lot of the work that's been put in, and that's important. That's, that's an important feeling to to have that, uh, and maybe maybe it does. But um, you know, I, my only hesitation to saying that would be that you know I didn't see players that were you know we weren't lacking confidence anyway. You know we were okay, we were fine. Um, you know maybe there's an extra boost, of course, when you when you receive the rewards for your work. But you know it wasn't there. There was never a point where we were worried about that. Mm-hmm. So. How would you sum up this game on Sunday then against Hibernian? Is this just another game? It's the most important game of our lives. You know, just as we said in the build-up to the, the game against Motherwell, the next game is the most important game of your life. This is the most important game of our lives. And, of course, there are added factors in, in, in what it means to everyone. And, you know, the, all, all the, the backdrop to it. Obviously, the massive history and the, the direct rivalry and also maybe the more recent history as well um, so there are there are a lot of things that, that come into play which feed into the you know the emotional size of the game for for everyone but most of that you know the players and staff and everyone on the inside we will feel it and we do feel it and we respect it and I fully appreciate it um, but the the magnitude of that most of it's for the fans and we want to play a part in being able to give them a day that they can remember and, and talk about for years to come. A year ago, um, the, the sides met at this stage as well, and there's a few survivors from the Hearts team then mm-hmm. um, who played in that game and then, and then in the replay as well. Um, do you sense that they are extra driven to make up for what happened last season? Um, I, I don't sense anything like that. And in this moment, I think you know we all recognise that each game is its own thing. We need to be be prepared, be focused, train well throughout the week, and you know know how 
we think is the best way of winning and, and want to go and do those things. What do you make of Hibernian? We see, uh, I think even over the last couple of years, uh, you know, a good team that's, you know, the uh, uh, ball bounced slightly differently for them. You know, we'd be playing them four times in the league. Mm. Um, they have they have good players. I think they've also got a, a group of players that have been together for, you know, quite a bit of time, maybe 18 months to two years, and obviously some of them have been there longer as well. So it's a, it's a strong group, um, an organised team, a very experienced manager. They'll be very strong competitors, I think, even in the even in the the, the top league just now. I, I don't see a I don't see a massive difference, and we we expect a very very strong competitive game. Do you have you met Neil Lennon, and how how well do you know him, and what do you make of him as a coach? Uh, I've met very briefly um, at the at the managers meeting, um, I think last month. Um, we, we, no, I hadn't met prior to that, but just a just a quick chat, and, and that was all there. He's he he has a, he's obviously got a lot of experience in Scottish football. <coughs> he's won it as a player at the cup. He's won it as a as a manager as well. Um, what do you make of the job that he's been doing at Hibernian? It was a it was a surprise coming for him. I, I, a lot of people he came back to Scottish football and he's gone to Hibs. So what yeah. do you make of of what he's doing at that club? Well, he, he's he's gone there because he sees potential in the club, um, and I think to this point. They've, everything that they've done has been what they were meant to do, you know, put themselves in a strong position in the league. Uh, there's a lot of consistency throughout the season, and uh, as I say, it's a strong group. We, we'll expect to to have um, to have four games against them next year. Football is built on rivalries, and this is for Hearts the most special rivalry. So, would you accept that this game means perhaps more than any other it to does. the people connected with it the does. club? It does. Oh, there's, there's, I don't think that's up for debate. It does, mm. and uh, I've, I've talked before about how, how much I love football and how much I love the fact that football plays a massive role in people's lives, creates memories, creates conversation, creates debate, creates some strong debates at times as well, and you know, that, that is one of the reasons why we love the game, um, and that's one of the reasons why. We want to make sure that we we can try and deliver a special day, mm. but we have to do that from a from a focused position, you know, clear, concentrated. Maybe not calm, but close to calm, and and we need to make the right decisions on the pitch. Can you be calm in an Edinburgh derby? You can be close to calm. You can be close to calm. What we need to do is we need to we need to do all of the things that the derby brings which is fight and which is passion and which is determined and all of those things, all of those things. But we've also got to make the right decision because it's a football game as well mm. and, and it's one that we want to win very much. What does the Scottish Cup mean to you? I think the same as any, any other young boy who's, who's lived their lives kicking the ball against the wall. Or, you know, Scottish Cup final day, often there's the sun out, which maybe makes us remember it more because it's not too, too common. But um, no, I, I feel the same. I feel the massive excitement, love for that day. You know that long day where it starts on TV early and all that build up, and I feel the same as as any other young boy would. Lifting the Scottish Cup as a manager, you've got a long way to go before you get to that stage. But I just want to win the game. Yeah, I just want to win the game. Sunday. The um. Just finally, the the recruitment that you've done in January, nine trans, nine signings. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have made a big impact already. How um, how 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 much of a just just go over how much of a process that was getting all those guys in? Because obviously you've had injuries, you've had um, a couple of players leaving as well. Yeah. Off the African Cup of Nations too. How, somewhat how busy a month it was and how did you get that recruitment in? Because they've come from all over the place as well. Some are free transfers, mm -hmm. some from Scotland, some from further afield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it was it was something which we, we were aware of quite quickly, you know, and I, I think no matter what, there, there was going to need to be some work done. Um, obviously, uh, with, with, with us coming into the club, we maybe viewed things slightly differently on what would be a balanced squad and what work needed to be done. Um, so we started to to assess what we would like to be able to bring quite quickly um, and then throughout throughout the month uh, it was really just a case of 
trying to analyse and, and look through every contact available in, in the club. The club is in a position where it has an existing structure to be able to help those things, you know, and that's also one of the reasons why why I made the decision that this is the right place. That, that you know, the, this support exists, a structure does exist. We can improve things, and I think we already have improved some things, and and we'll continue to do that collectively. But um, these these sorts of things are made easier because of the the ambition of the club, um, the willingness of of everyone at the club and the, the collective way in which we all work together.